This is a large bead frame multiplication with a two-digit multiplier. And the problem we'll be working is 8,437, 8,437 taken 34 times. So I'll record, I recorded the problem on the left-hand side of the bead frame paper, and on the right-hand side of the bead frame paper, I'll expand the problem. This is a two-digit multiplier, so I'll need to multiply by both the units place digit and the tens place digit. So here's the multiplicand, seven units, three tens, four hundreds, eight thousands. And when I do the work, I will take each of those parts of the multiplicand and multiply it by four, the units place of the multiplier. Then I need to take seven units, three tens, four hundreds, and eight thousands, and multiply them by the tens place of the multiplier, which is thirty. Before I begin the multiplication, I want to look at this part of the problem. And when I take 7 30 times, that's going to be a lot of work. It would be a lot easier if I just took 70 three times. So I'm going to move the units place over. So 7 taken 10 times is 70. 30 taken 10 times is 300. So here's 30 taken 10 times is 300. 400 taken 10 times becomes 4,000. And 8,000 taken 10 times becomes 80,000. So I've rewritten this problem, multiplied everything by 10, and now all I'll have to do is multiply everything by 3. Now I can begin the work with the bead frame. So I'll start with multiplying everything by the units place of the multiplier, which is 4. 7 taken 4 times is 28. 28 is 8 units, 2 tenths, 28. 30 taken 4 times, or 3 tenths taken 4 times, is 12 tenths. 2 tenths, 100. 400 taken 4 times is 16 hundredths. 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundred. 8,000 taken 4 times. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 thousands. 30 thousands. 2 thousands. So I've multiplied everything by the units place. Now I can move to multiplying everything by the tens place. But I've simplified the work, so I just have to multiply by 3. 7 tens taken 3 times is 21 tens. It's right? Three hundreds taken 3 times is 9 hundreds. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hundreds. Four thousands taken Three times is twelve thousandths. Twelve thousandths. One, th one ten thousand. Two thousandths. Eight ten thousandths taken three times is twenty-four ten thousandths. Two hundred thousandths. Four ten thousandths. 
So I've completed the multiplication, and now I can read my answer. And I always read from the lowest bead bars up. 286,858. That's my final product. And when I record it on the paper, I'll record starting with the units place so I can be sure everything is in its place. So starting with the units place, I'm going to record 8 in the units place, 5 in the tens place, 8 hundreds, 6 thousands, 8 ten thousands, 2 hundred thousands. And I'll put in the comma to make it easier to read the answer on the paper. 286,858. 286,858.